Hi all, Kevin here. Uh, this time with the Pikachu uh, update. Uh, the last uh, video I did was in 2016 at the end uh, of the year. Uh, at the time I had around 700 Pikachus, so make sure to uh, check out that video first. Uh, and this is an update video uh, well, for mainly for 2017. Uh, I've added around 200 uh, more Pikachus and now I've well, a little over 950 unique uh, Pikachu cards. Um, so yeah, let, uh, let let's go over uh, let's go over them. Um, I first discovered the new version uh, of the first edition uh, Yellow Cheeks. They are basically uh, uh, almost all of them are uh, 3D versions. So as you can see on the picture right here, this is what the first edition stamp looked like uh, zoomed in. But I was able to find one of them that was just, uh, well, 2D actually. So that's one card I added. Uh, next we have a red cheeks with uh, an inverted stamp at the back. Um, this probably happened uh, uh, when the stacks were getting the first edition stamps and then were laid on top of each other. There was probably uh, some residue when it was still a bit wet the ink wasn't dried properly, then it would stuck on the card that was on top of it uh, and then you get uh, these back stamps uh, I also have a back stamp with a white uh, stamp um, on the scan it's not really uh, that clear but you can clear uh, when you have the card in hand it's uh, clear that it's also a first edition uh, um, imprint uh, how these white ones uh, made I'm not entirely sure because it's not like it's damaged the card or anything but uh, yeah it's it, I, I, I'm not sure why uh, how it happened but uh, those are two back stamp uh, variations that were added to my collection uh, next I have this Pikachu with an ink uh, bubble at the uh, uh, top left uh, corner top left border I mean uh, you can see a little uh, ink uh, bubble there uh, not really that exciting but still yeah, it's a new uh, variation uh, next this uh, English uh, XI Evolutions Pikachu uh, when you compare the colors uh, it's uh, slightly darker than uh, than a regular one I'm still looking for uh, as you may have, not, uh, may have remembered I also have one that is with a blue background which is uh, one with a very very dark purple background but that it's almost blue uh, and there should also be one with a uh, well, kind of reddish maroon background uh, but I don't have it yet here you can see an overview of all three of them next we I have this partial uh, square cut if you look at the white border you see that it's square cut but that the other uh, left border it's uh, it's not it's a uh, yeah, pretty cool uh, mis miscut next um, uh, someone else discovered that there are three different versions of the unlimited edition uh, Pikachu uh, you have one that is entirely glossy both the border and the card you have one where that is entirely matte so not glossy at all and one that is uh, only the border is glossy um, I, this is the picture he made uh, where you can see the differences um, but I also have all three variations now uh, next we have this uh, well uh, this colored uh, Pikachu from the Pikachu World Collection 2000 uh, I actually bought uh, the entire set of nine, all uh, uh, sun discolored like this one, which uh, you will see the other ones uh, in a moment. Uh, I also started adding uh, more of the extended uh, uh, artwork for the base Pikachu. Uh, um, in my first video where I had 700, I only had one from uh, the number, but I've added uh, a few more. Uh, only the base Pikachu uh, uh, extended artwork I'm after. So this one is made by uh, uh, Slowpoke painting. Uh, very uh, nice extended artwork. Here we have uh, 
one uh, well, very suitable for the fat Pikachu uh, artwork. Uh, one made by uh, Alternate Images Art with June. Uh, then we have uh, this one, which is made by uh, Requena, Requena Zera, Requesa Nera. I hope I pronounced it right, probably not. Um, but she uh, also has a YouTube. Almost all of them that I show have uh, YouTubes and uh, Instagrams, Facebooks. That's how I get in contact with them. Next, uh, one of my new favorites. Uh, this one is made by uh, Squishy Art. I really like uh, the plants and the berries uh, that she put in. Uh, next, we have this one by Starlight Card Art. Also a very nice uh, one. All of them are nice. It's it's very cool that all of them are. Each uh, artist have their own unique uh, uh, characteristics that they use for the artwork. So even though they're all based on all from the same base Pikachu, it's still uh, pretty cool that there's so many differences. Uh, let's see. This one is made by Nefarious Painted Creations. Uh, also a pretty cool one. Next we have one by Astral Tiger Art. Then here we have one by Yunai Saurus. Then here we <laughs> this one arrived uh, around Halloween, which was very suitable. <laughs> Probably gives a new uh, meaning to the attack now. But uh, this one is made by uh, Houndoom. He uh, also has an Instagram. Uh, next, this one by Christian's Painted Pokemon Cards. Uh, and, and a reverse holo from the XI Evolution set is used. And so all those uh, quests and, and sparkles you see are actually uh, the reverse holo parts. Next, this one by uh, Pokemon 101. Also very cool with uh, the big leaves. And the last one I have is uh, from Poké Paints. Also a very nice one. I still have a few more incoming, so those will be in an, uh, another update. Next one I made myself. Uh, one time I was just bored, and uh, since I'm not good at extended artworks myself, I don't paint. I decided to just make this uh, 3D art. Um, the, <laughs> the red cheeks are actually from uh, the Pokeball at the back. Uh, but yeah, this. Uh, these, these are all the parts that I use and then here you can see uh, from an angle to see that it's uh, 3D. Uh, next, um, in I'm not sure when anymore, but uh, at uh, Mitsuhita Rita went to uh, Italy. Uh, Mitsuhita Rita is uh, the illustrator for this base Pikachu, as you can see at the uh, bottom left uh, corner. Uh, but yeah, he went to Italy and there was uh, the organizers of that Italian uh, Pokemon uh, event made it possible to send in cards to get signed by him. So I sent in, uh, uh, well, this uh, Shadowed uh, Holofall picture that I uh, had among my duplicates. And I also sent in one of each uh, language. So here we have all of them uh, at, uh, at the same time. And here you see. Uh, yeah, proof that Mitsuhita Arita signed my cards. Let's go over them. We have the English, of course. The Japanese. German. French. Italian. Spanish. And Korean. So it's pretty cool to have all of them uh, signed by him. Uh, next we have this... Uh, uh, yeah, well... Again, an albino uh, Pikachu, this from the jungle. Again, I'm pretty sure it's uh, just some the discoloration that's causing this pink border. But yeah, I came across this one, was cheap, so uh, I bought it as well. Next, uh, we have this sun bleached one. Uh, if, if you remember correctly, I also had one for the base Pikachu that someone created for me, or actually created, and I came across online. 
but he uh, created more Pikachus for me. This was one of them. Uh, I will show one more, and uh, in, he's currently in the process of making a bunch more. Uh, <laughs> so I probably have uh, a lot of them uh, in a few years. But yeah, it looks very cool with uh, everything just completely pale. <laughs> uh, here in the Netherlands, we don't have enough sun to uh, accomplish this, so uh, I'm glad that he do it. Uh, he does it for me. Uh, next we have uh, another Pikachu. This one is from the Australian uh, Red Logo Pack. Uh, the difference between the, the regular US or English version is uh, at the back it's more glossier. Um, you can't really see. Here is a picture that I tried to make to show the difference. When I shine on them with a flashlight, it has uh, different LEDs in them. On the on, on the regular one at the right, you see that it's just one big blur. But on the left, you can actually see the details and, and the, the individual individual lights, uh, let's I mean, uh, which means it's more glossier. It's a bit hard to explain and uh, not really easy to show on camera, but uh, when you have both cards, uh, you can clearly see the difference. So uh, the, the left one comes from the red logo packs from Australia. Uh, next we have the first edition Portuguese one, uh, th this was the final one I was still missing. I bought uh, a few packs, booster packs, uh, just to yeah, have a chance to get the Pikachu. And uh, well, I uh, actually opened two of them, so th I was very, very glad that I did. Uh, and I also opened uh, Hollow Jolteon, so that was a nice bonus, because it's my favorite uh, artwork of the jungle set. Uh, next, another uh, Sun Discolored from the same Pikachu uh, World Collection. Uh, you will see a few more at the promos. Here we have uh, a Neo Genesis uh, first edition Pikachu with the Grey Stamp. Um, apparently, there are Grey Stamps for the Neo Genesis set as well as the Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge set. Uh, I haven't come across any Pikachus yet, but I have seen some other cards. Uh, but yeah, when I accidentally came across this uh, Neo Genesis uh, Pikachu, I'm glad that I did because uh, I bought it. Here you can see the difference uh, between a regular set, uh, regular uh, stamp. So it's uh, yeah, it's clearly grey stamp. Uh, next, this is the other uh, Albino uh, Pikachu that he uh, made for me so far. Uh, this one is actually very cool with the background. It's the the bluish uh, looks very cool. Uh, so yeah, it's a very nice, uh, nice pale card. Next, a very, very special one. This is probably the rarest Pikachu that I currently have. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the Match Print Pikachu. Uh, only two ex actually exist. Um, this, uh, at, in my previous video, I mentioned it that I knew that one of them was owned by uh, Justinator, <coughs> another uh, very big Pikachu collector who's currently the third in the world. Uh, I'm still slightly first and uh, someone I know from Belgium, Tom, is actually uh, second. And he's probably uh, going to, uh, well, he, he almost says as, not, as much as me. Um, but anyway, this match print Pikachu, uh, one was owned by Justin and the other was owned by uh, TCA uh, Gaming, <coughs> the one who made the article and actually discovered uh, the match print cards uh, and I was able to uh, buy this card from him so we yeah, are very glad I did because uh, it's a very uh, very special card uh, next we have the unlimited edition uh, Japanese sky Witch set unlimited edition Japanese cards are overall uh, pretty hard to find uh, I still have to find the one for the expedition uh, set which was actually a promo um, but yeah uh, I'm glad that I was able to find this one. And also the reverse hello uh, in German. That was one I was still missing. Next we have this one from the X uh, Team Aqua of Team Magma the Team Aqua set. Uh, apparently this is uh, also released in Korean. Uh, I found a pretty good Korean contact that helped me with a few, uh, quite a few cards. You will see some more uh, soon. Uh, but this was one of them. Uh, I actually didn't even know that this card exists in Korean. Uh, one interesting uh, thing to note, uh, this card has a Japanese back instead of an English back. Uh, 
Uh, this is actually the only Korean card that I know of within the uh, Japanese bag. But uh, yeah, it's, at first I thought it was fake because of that, but uh, it got, I actually uh, found some sources and it's, it's real. So I'm very glad to, to have it in my collection. Uh, next we have this German uh, holo, reverse holo, for the X fire red leaf green uh, set. As well as uh, some missing codes. Uh, this is the French one with the code B0P at the end. That I was still missing. Here we have the Italian uh, reverse holo for the X emerald set. As well as... Uh, the Portuguese one, uh, as I mentioned in my first video, I was having trouble uh, finding Portuguese cards, but I was able to find a very good uh, Brazilian contact. He helped me with, well, actually all Portuguese cards that I was still missing. So you will see a lot more Portuguese cards uh, in this video. This holo is uh, one of them, as well as some of the codes. So here you have uh, 71B, as well as the code WCR. And I think the third code I already had. Uh, so yeah, there are three codes in total. Next we have this uh, X Holland Phantoms uh, German holo. As well as a German uh, that is off-center. As you can see, the, the off-center, the, the, the border at the right and left uh, are not uh, the same size. As well as the holo uh, that I was still missing. And also the Italian one that I was also uh, still missing. That's why I now have this uh, entire set complete. Uh, next we have the mysterious uh, treasures set. Uh, here's the German reverse holo. I'm still missing the Italian, Spanish and Polish. But uh, yeah, those are pretty hard to find. But here we have the German. Uh, here we also have the... I think this is the Portuguese one, yes, yes, this is Portuguese, as I mentioned, great Portuguese contact, so uh, it's now also added to my collection. And as I also mentioned, a great Korean contact, so this uh, from the Majestic Dawn set is now also added. As well as this one from the uh, Supreme Victor set. Yes, Supreme Victors. And this one, the Arc is uh, promo. Also in Korean. Next, we have uh, this Portuguese card from the Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, set. Uh, the Black and White uh, Secret Rare, also in Portuguese, as well as in Korean. I also didn't know this card was released in Korean, but uh, apparently it is. So, uh, yeah, also very nice that I have it in my collection now. Uh, here we have a miscut that I recently added. It actually arrived just a few days ago. Uh, just a miscut that I came across. Which is, uh, yeah, all, always nice to add. Uh, next, the boundaries crossed uh, German reverse holo. I think I added it not too long after I made the first video. But yeah, at the time that I was making that first video, I was still missing this one. So now uh, I have it in my collection as well. As well as the Portuguese again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, next we have the Best of XI uh, set that was released uh, recently. Here we have the Japanese one, the Holo, as well as the non holo here we have the Portuguese uh, XI, as well as the Best of XI set that was also released in Korean. Uh, in Korean it was only available as reverse holo, so no non holo. Next, uh, another miscut, this one uh, from the Furious Fist uh, set. Again, a Portuguese uh, card, as well as a Korean. This is the first XI promo. As well as another uh, beautiful extended artwork. Um, as you may have remembered from the base Pikachus that I showed, uh, one of them with uh, the donuts and the other things. Uh, this is made by the same uh, the, the same artist, uh, Altered Images Art with June. 
he always makes uh, cards with with food or, or, or eggs or uh, very uh, very cool uh, cards. I have one more that I will show in a moment. Uh, next we have this. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, this one is with hollow bleed. Uh, it's not really show uh, easy to show on the scan, but this is uh, an English uh, 2015 McDonald's promo. Uh, with uh, hollow bleed as well as the 2016 promo uh, apparently it was not released in German uh, but a German one was released in uh, Switzerland um, so that's what yeah this one is the 2016 uh, promo McDonald's promo as well as the French one and uh, oh yeah this French one is also with uh, with hollow bleed and next we have uh, this Portuguese one, uh, just the non hollow also one I was still missing. I was missing almost all Portuguese cards. Next we have the McDonald's from uh, Russia. And here we have one uh, built a bear workshop, uh, which is crimped at the top. It's not a very big crimp, but uh, it is crimped. And it's still in its original seal, so that's pretty cool, both crimped and still sealed. Uh, next we have the breakthrough set uh, again Portuguese And here we have the one that I was just talking about uh, Again with uh, from alternate images art with June <laughs> With ice cream and cake and, and yeah, it's very cute how it's holding the little cake in his hand uh, Next we have this one. Um, I'm not entirely convinced that it's authentic. Uh, I actually I think it's uh, a fake stamp, but this is supposed to be uh, IQ Otani's uh, stamp. Uh, IQ, I probably don't announce, uh, pronounce it right, but IQ Otani is uh, the voice actress of Pikachu in the anime. But yeah, I think it's fake. If you compare it to uh, some of her real uh, autographs, it's quite different, unfortunately. Uh, next, we have this uh, miscut version of the full art from the generation set in English and also the Portuguese one that I was still missing and here another Portuguese one the other generations uh, Pikachu as well as the Korean one uh, next we go to the Sun and Moon uh, releases uh, which were all released in 2017 so now we're uh, going through almost all the cards uh, from the set again. We start with the English reverse hollow, English non hollow, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the Japanese promo 108, uh, uh, the Japanese uh, reverse hollow from the SM4 Plus uh, version set, I mean, as well as the non hollow from the SM3N set. And another promo, the 168th uh, Sun and Moon promo in Japanese. Next we have the German reverse hollow, German non hollow, French reverse hollow, French non hollow, both of them in Italian, Spanish, Portuguese. Uh, starting Sun and Moon uh, Portuguese was uh, available in reverse hollow again. And uh, the Korean, which is uh, only in the non hollow. Uh, next, we have this uh, the next set, which is Shining Legends. Here we have the English one. Uh, this one is actually pretty dark. Uh, as you can see, it's almost orange instead of yellow, especially when you look at the Pikachu. So I consider this, uh, well, kind of misprint. Because here you have the regular one, and it's very uh, different from the previous uh, orange one. Oh no, wait, wait, this is the non hollow, sorry. This is the non hollow. I'm still looking for the one which is, isn't as dark as this one. Uh, then the Japanese one, German reverse hollow, and non hollow. Same for the French. Italian, 
Spanish and Portuguese. Uh, next we have the Crimson Invasion uh, set. This one I do have both Pikachu, so here you have again a dark orange uh, Pikachu. It's probably happened. It, it, it happens uh, more often now that you have a pretty dark reverse hollow, and here you have a lighter one. So you can see clearly see the difference when I uh, put them next to each other. Here we have the non hollow in English, uh, the Japanese one, German reverse hollow. A non hollow French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. Uh, next, we have this uh, Pop 4 uh, again in uh, Portuguese. Uh, next, we have this Japanese uh, with a well, a stamp on top of it, it's not really an official card or anything, uh, but I came across it and I was like, oh, yeah, why not? Uh, this, it probably, uh, the, the text above it means something like healthy or genki in, uh, in Japanese. It's probably just a stamp from one of the stores, but uh, so not really anything special. But uh, yeah, I just bought it anyway. Uh, next we have this uh, pretty cool uh, Pikachu li Libre that was released. Here we oh no, it was already released sooner, but here we have the English uh, full hollow one. Uh, it's not really showing on the scan, but it is uh, an error version. And we also have the Portuguese in hollow and non hollow. Next we have this. Uh, uh, Pikachu from the Alolan Raichu Hall deck. Uh, this is actually the promo that was released later on. Uh, so this is the SM68 uh, uh, holo promo in English. As well as the 14 of 30, 30 and 29 of 30 uh, from the Alolan Raichu Hall deck. In English. Uh, here we have the Japanese promo. Uh, I have another Japanese promo that is incoming. Here we have the German uh, promo, as well as both from the deck. Same for French, Italian, Sp uh, the Spanish hollow I'm still missing, it's uh, actually pretty rare and uh, not very easy to find, uh, so I don't have it yet, but I do have both of the half deck uh, cards and Portuguese also both of the half deck cards uh, this one isn't released as promo and I'm still missing the Korean one some of the Sun and Moon Korean uh, cards as my new contact is still looking for uh, here we have another uh, discolored promo from the Pikachu World Collection and another Uh, here another discolored card, this one uh, is the Japanese uh, promo with plane, uh, the flying Pikachu. And some more of the Pikachu World Collection. Uh, here we have a uh, Pikachu promo uh, number 27 that was signed by uh, Veronica Taylor. Uh, she is the voice actress of Ash in the English anime. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool Pikachu as well. <coughs> and some more this color. Um, oh, here we have the non hollow uh, 035 promo. Uh, this one was released in uh, Sweden. Uh, so, yeah, normally it's a uh, hollow, but this one, uh, the non hollow version, was released in a uh, Swedish uh, magazine. Next we have this pretty rare uh, 016 DDP um, promo in Japan. Uh, you've probably seen this card quite often as uh, 019 LP promo. Uh, but uh, this one with 016 is uh, a lot rarer. And it's still sealed. I came across it uh, of someone 
tip me about it uh, on the Jap for, that it was available on the Yahoo Japan, which is basically the Japanese uh, eBay. Uh, next, another uh, promo in Korean. Uh, Korean, Portuguese, I mean, this one is in Korean. Uh, this is the non holo. Uh, I already had, uh, I didn't know this one actually exists in non holo. I already had uh, the holo version, but uh, there's also a non holo uh, version released in Korean. Next, uh, this Portuguese one, which was available at tournaments, I think. Another Portuguese promo. And another. Here we have the McDonald's uh, promos. Uh, uh, yes, this is the English one. <coughs> Here we have the cereal uh, promo uh, with a pretty uh, cool hollow pattern. And here we have another English. The first one was with Hollow Bleed again, this one without. As well as the Sun and Moon 04 artwork, which is uh, non hollow. But uh, the same artwork with uh, another promo. Here we have the Japanese uh, promo. Uh, next, we have the German uh, McDonald's 2017. The French. Italian, Spanish with Hollowbleed and Spanish without Hollowbleed and the Queen, uh, also a promo. <coughs> <coughs> uh, next we have this English one, this is also with Hollowbleed. This is one with an ink uh, drop and uh, at the top left corner, you can't really yeah, you can barely see it, but it's slightly on the hollow and slightly on the border. As well as just a regular one. And uh, the German, French, Italian. Oh no, wait, this is the Spanish. Italian one is still incoming. And the Portuguese. I still have the Italian incoming. Uh, and the Korean. Next we have the uh, SM81 promo, the in English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. And I uh, still have to put uh, the, the Korean uh, left fine. Next we have this uh, English exclusive promo, uh, the SM98 which was only released in the US. Next, the uh, Ash Pikachu from uh, the movie. This one is a uh, Japanese one. The German, French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. I actually have the English one still incoming, uh, as well as the Korean uh, I've yet to find. Next, uh, these other Ash Pikachus, which was a set of six. Uh, I have the English ones incoming, uh, and I also have all the Korean except for one incoming. Uh, so I'm still missing one Korean. Uh, it wasn't released in any of the other languages, so German, French, Italian. Only in uh, English, Japanese, and uh, Korean. <coughs> but here we have the one with the red background, orange background, and yellow background. Green background, blue background, and another one with blue background. It's pretty cool that they all have uh, different hats from the different seasons. Uh, next is one zero uh, two DP B promo, uh, which is very hard to find. Uh, the it's a set of five uh, ninety eight through one hundred two, uh, but for some reason the zero one two is uh, very hard to find. So I'm glad that I finally have it. To complete the set. Uh, next this Ash Pikachu from the Ash Face uh, Team Rocket uh, deck. Uh, it's also released in uh, Korean, so I still have yet to find it. But yeah, very cool uh, uh, full art from the Sun and Moon uh, anime. You also see that Ash uh, 
if you haven't seen Sun and Moon uh, episodes yet, I just changed quite a lot uh, in this uh, season. Uh, next is Korean uh, promo. Uh, the 2017 uh, promos from um, what's it called again? Uh, I forgot the name, but uh, yeah, this is uh, the the promo that they release uh, every year. So from 2014, we have a full art. Then in 2015, 16, 17. Uh, this one is 17, uh, there are actually two of them, here's the other one. The only difference is, uh, if I put them next to each other, the difference is uh, the, the logo as well as the set number. Uh, here we have another one, which is signed by uh, <laughs> Bonita Ishii. Um, yeah, I just came across it on Yahoo and bought it, uh, but apparently the one who signed it is just a YouTuber with about 10,000 subscribers, so it's... <laughs> Nothing too special, but yeah, it's uh, kind of missed by, but whatever. Here we have uh, the 2015 version uh, with the event organizer stamp. I was able to find uh, two of them on the Yahoo Japan, uh, the Japanese eBay, uh, and I graded one of them myself, uh, which came back at PSA 10. So that's uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that I uh, was able to uh, grade this one myself. Next, uh, we have some cosplay pictures that were released in uh, Sun and Moon. We have this Alolan Vulpix, as well as the regular Vulpix. As well as, um, what's it called again? Yeah, the, the new starter uh, from uh, Sun and Moon, the grass one. Uh, oh yeah, Rowlet. Rowlet. As well as an Easter Pikachu. Quite cute. Here we have a uh, Korean exclusive promo. This was released with some Nintendo, I think, with some Nintendo games, Nintendo DS, I think. Anyway, it's a Korean uh, exclusive. Uh, uh, this artwork is only available in this Korean uh, promo, so it wasn't released in English or Japanese, only in Korean, which is yeah quite cool that uh, I have it. Uh, this one, the Pikachu with you, uh, Pokemon U uh, wagon promo. Also a pretty rare one, uh, I think it was released in 2015, something like that, uh, due to the earthquakes uh, in Japan. Uh, I was actually one of the first to buy it on the Yahoo Japan, so, so I bought it for quite a high price compared to what you can find it on uh, for now. Um, if you look at eBay, there are probably some of them uh, for about 250 to 350 uh, US dollars, uh, which is still quite expensive of course but compared to what I paid for it it's pretty cheap uh, next we have this Polish one I noticed that the Polish one that I had had uh, an ink bubble on top of it uh, as you can see I highlighted it in green so I just bought another one uh, next we have this Art Academy Pikachu uh, there are 12 of them uh, last time I showed two and I added two more so here we have the chef one, and here we have the Spanish one uh, with the cute dress. Next, some more jumbo uh, Pikachu's. Here we have one with the uh, albino uh, border. This color, as you can see, they also this color with uh, pinkish borders around it. As well as one that is signed by multiple people. Uh, you can see uh, Mitsui Rita's English and Japanese signatures. Uh, Tori PCL, uh, yeah, some some signatures. I don't even know all of them. Uh, I think uh, there's also a Mighty Mike uh, signature on it, and uh, some more uh, po yeah, famous Pokemon people uh, from from quite a while ago. <coughs> Sorry again. Um, and this is the only Jumbo, Jumbo Pikachu that was released in 2017. This was released in. Uh, the U some part of the US and uh, Canada uh, so yeah this is a Jumbo uh, Pikachu uh, next we have this uh, Pikachu Teach uh, card from the Teach set uh, there are actually uh, from as far as I know three of them this is one is from 2000 and there's also one from 2008 uh, with the artwork from the Stormfront Pikachu 
as well as one from 2010 with uh, an unique Pikachu artwork. I'm still looking for those two. But here we have the one with this artwork from the base set that I actually wanted most. Here we have uh, another yeah, very tiny Pikachu. Uh, this was uh, uh, released at the 10th anniversary. But it's uh, just, uh, yeah, just a mobile ch uh, phone charm. So you can put it uh, in, at, your, in, at your keys or your mobile. But it's uh, actually very tiny. I'm not sure what the diameters were again, but something like two centimeters only. It's very, uh, very tiny. And uh, yeah, that's it. That, those are all the pictures that I added uh, this year. Uh, there are still a few incoming. Um, as I mentioned, there are just four, four uh, Pikachu's, four base extended uh, artworks still incoming for the Pikachu. Uh, I still have a miscut incoming from the XI Evolution. Uh, I have an, uh, uh, a Pikachu incoming that is crimped at the bottom. Uh, let's see some other that are incoming or. Uh, let me just go over my list uh, real quick. Ah oh, yes, the Italian uh, Earth Gold Soul Silver with Pokemon Day stamp is incoming. Uh, the Generations uh, Pikachu Converse Hollow, uh, with, which is actually full hollow, even including the artwork itself as a misprint. Yeah, apart from that, some Japanese Sun and Moon cards, some Korean cards uh, are basically still incoming some of the ones uh, that I already mentioned and yeah that's uh, basically it uh, those are all the Pikachu's that I added uh, this year uh, I still have uh, about well inc excluding uh, all misprints I have five, 55 left to find but including those uh, 102 left to find uh, so yeah I uh, hope to find a lot of them uh, this year uh, yeah that's basically it thank you all uh, for watching and uh, make sure to stay tuned for uh, for more more update videos soon about both my Twisty Puzzles collection as well as uh, some of my other Pokemon collections. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.